Well, 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 well. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Hashtag Clownfish was right. He's very excited. I'm not, you know, I'm not excited for people losing their jobs, no. but I'm I'm excited to be vindicated. Rooster Teeth has been shut down. You don't know officially. how much crap from weirdos that, especially Neon, took over saying that he thought Rooster Teeth was going to shut down. Uh, I've been speculating that Rooster Teeth is going to shut down for the last two or three years now. In fact, I had a video out there eight months ago, End Stage Rooster Teeth. We talked about how weird it was that they took all their content off YouTube and they wanted to paywall it on their website and that they are going broke three months ago. That is a handful of videos we've done on the demise of Rooster Teeth. And I've been telling you for at least two or three years now, this company is going to get shut down down mm -hmm. they do not make money they're clearly struggling and warner brothers they will pull the plug on on movies that might have actually had a chance at the box office just to save money there is no place in the new economic reality for rooster teeth especially a rooster teeth without the original people mm -hmm. involved it's just it's rooster teeth as it is right now is wearing the skin suit of rooster teeth from years past. Well, Warner Brothers is hemorrhaging money and they're just gonna need they to are. make cuts where they need to. It's just the way it is, sorry. So the announcement was made today. We're gonna talk about it. This is gonna be my first reaction to the announcement. Now they said they're gonna keep some of their podcasts around and they're gonna try to shop uh, Red versus Blue, Ruby and Genlock around to other studios. Good luck with that. Crunchyroll might actually wind up with Ruby, but they'll reboot it with the Japanese studio and it'll be better than what Rooster Teeth is doing now, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, guys, everything's fine. It's all fine here. Clownfish, they're just alarmist. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Not, not many woohoos over at Rooster Teeth. Uh, not many woohoos at Rooster Teeth. So after uh, a couple years of just debacle after debacle after debacle, they have finally pulled the plug. The Hollywood Reporter... Warner Brothers Discovery shuts down Rooster Teeth after 21 years. Dang. 21 years of this. The studio is shopping its uh, Roost podcast network and IP such as Red versus Blue, Ruby, and Genlock around. So th that's the only thing that they have that they think has any value, but their, their podcasts are kind of cringy too. Uh, animation, comedy, and gaming studio Rooster Teeth, owned by Warner Brothers, is shutting down. Since inheriting ownership and control of Rooster Teeth from AT&T following its acquisition of Time Warner, Warner Brothers Discovery continued its investment in our company, content, and community. It's with a heavy heart I announced that Rooster Teeth is shutting down due to challenges facing digital media resulting from fundamental shifts in consumer behavior and monetization across platforms, advertising, and patronage, wrote Jordan uh, Levine, general manager of Rooster Teeth. No, it's because your content sucks now you got rid of everybody involved with rooster teeth that actually brought eyeballs and you paywalled all of your content yeah but i do think well they had to paywall because the the, the monetization across platforms advertising etc yeah that does have something to do with it but the patronage probably is because you paywalled it but they probably had to because of the advertising we we pointed this out before rooster teeth as a youtube channel has been dying for years and it's basically people are tuning out I mean, at this point, Rooster Teeth gets less than half of the views that we get. Okay, now mm. they pulled a lot of content off, but they have been bleeding out subscribers for years. And they've also gotten crazy political. You know, just in 2020, this is, this is Rooster Teeth. This is making the rounds again now that they've gone out. They're going out. Uh, this is your regular reminder that we happily and proudly stand for social justice. Mm -hmm. We have no tolerance for racism, sexism, or harassment of any kind. If you're not with us, this isn't an airport. No need to announce your departure. Um, they're, they're gone now, so. Yeah, no need to announce that you're against racism, sexism, and harassment. Most Most normal people are, right? Just make good shows. That's... That's all you had to do. But then they had the sex scandal and they had, um, let's see what else. They had the uh, abuse of their animators and uh, they fired Joel. I think it was Joel because he was too too right-leaning. Imagine that, you know, from Texas. Imagine that. Well, I just thought it was funny because they, they also had their people out there, you know, in a sex scandal. Yeah, I know, right? So they were like, 
where are the good guys? They fired Vic Mignogna almost immediately because of allegations of, mm -hmm. you know, and there, to this day, to the best of my knowledge, there has been no concrete proof that he actually did any of the things that he was accused of. So they fired him and then their own people were out there sleeping around. You know, some of them were, there was, it wasn't up for debate whether they were of age. Of I, age, yeah. Like I mean, some I'm of them. To remember. I, I think my memory is a little foggy, but I think some of them might not have been of age when the relations started, but they came out years later and, like, yeah, as a, okay. as a groupie, an achievement hunter groupie, and that whole thing blew up. So these people, the people that they kept were actually doing the things that they were accusing Vic Mignogna of doing. Then Achievement Hunter, they shut that down. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Red versus Blue is based on Halo, and Halo's deader than a doornail right now. They've, they've killed that franchise. So nobody cares. And Ruby, that whole fandom is freaking batshit, and nobody cares. So... Yeah, you know, what do they got? A podcast. Then they were trying to, they're like, oh, guys, we're going to reinvent ourselves. And they had this really cringy, like, millennial humor from 15 years ago. Like, uh, what was that? Dog Park or Dog Bark or whatever oh, the hell that yeah, thing that was. Oh, yeah, that was bad. And it was like, what is, it's like, you can't do that on television, but with adults. And I'm like, that's freaking weird. Well, that's the mentality. Weird. All right. As part yeah, of the they want to skew young. They want to, yeah. <laughs> maybe they do. Maybe that is part of the mentality. They identify younger. God, uh, as part of the shuttering, the Roost Podcast Network, which contains more than 80 podcasts, will remain in operation. So they're going to probably try to shop the podcast around. Pod That's what they're doing, yeah. Well, podcasts don't have the overhead that the the other content does, right? Especially yeah. animation. And I mean, they have the animation in the catalog. So of course they're going to shop that around. They're not going to shut that down right, right out because that'd be dumb. You can make money off that. Same with the podcast. You can make some money off it. But the, the network in general just isn't. I mean, they were trying to make it stick. They're they're trying to shop around Ruby and Genlock and Red versus Blue. I thought they were before, but maybe not. Um, they've been trying to make these stick. They actually had a Ruby crossover with Justice League in the comic books, and they've been just trying to make Ruby Ruby happen. And it's like it it just it. How very Disney. Anyway. How very Disney. It's it's it wasn't going to, but you could see the struggle. You could see them like trying very hard to figure out what they were, and they don't fit in. With Hollywood now, if Rooster Teeth had remained independent, you know how they started, and they just had their their own YouTube channels and their own podcasts, and the original crew were still involved. Because Bernie Burns, I think he started a podcast, and it became like one of the most listened to podcasts. I think his first episode actually beat Joe Rogan. So I'm like, there isn't there is an audience, there is an appetite for people associated with Rooster Teeth, or at least the OG crew, not. Not where the hell Rooster Teeth is now. Yeah. I said the company, which is headquartered in Austin, was founded in 2003, began with Red versus Blue, uh, based on Halo, which that's an uncomfortable situation there, I'm sure. And then they tried to, to like deviate from that and they had this other like new version of it where they had designs that didn't look like halo this is weird um they had genlock with michael b jordan which most people forgot about uh the studio last recorded having 150 employees but the number impact is still unclear given the potential for sales and having some contractor positions every story reaches its final page rooster teeth's closure isn't merely an end it reflects broader business dynamics monetization shifts Platform algorithms, advertising challenges, and the ebb and flow of patronage. Wait, so it's on, it, it reaches its final pages. Isn't the end? It isn't merely the end, it, but it is. And the thing is, you did it to yourself because the monetization shifts. Okay, that one I'll give you because it's true. Um, advertising challenges, business di dynamics, patronage. You shouldn't paywall it. I mean, I get why you did, but when you paywall it, you all your a lot of your people want it free. They're just gonna go someplace else. They'll give them free. Yeah, a lot of people noped out. They're like, well, uh, if you're going to pay wallet and you're making us go to your website like it's 2008. I mean, right or wrong. Um, I mean, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, animation's expensive. And Ruby, I mean, the, the fandom has a reputation. Let's just say the fandom has a reputation. But uh, I don't want to hear a damn thing from any of these Rooster Teeth stands because we were right. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. You wouldn't believe the crap we got. You talk about I would two argue, years now, three years. We very, very rarely mentioned it. You no, know? it was we hardly ever mentioned it. it. It was just like it came up. We have done 
almost, can you believe in the time we've been doing this? Almost 6,000 videos on this channel. 6,000 oh videos. And I six, believe it. In 6,000 videos, we've mentioned Rooster Teeth maybe a couple of dozen times as it's come up. But most of the news about Rooster Teeth has been the news that th this company is dying. Like it's, it's very obvious that they are going to get chopped and especially in the last two years. Uh, and, and there it is, you know, I'm actually surprised it took this long. I think that Warner brothers was probably dealing with bigger issues, you know, and they're like, Oh, rooster teeth. Yeah. We forgot about you. We forgot all about you. Cause you don't bring much. So, yeah. uh, yeah, you're done. You're, you're done. Um, so let's go out to Twitter here. A niche gamer rooster teeth, uh, has been shut down. What are people saying? David Zaslav is taking no prisoners. Uh, Warner Brothers can hail Ruby going full oh. LTG. Oh, my God. Yeah. Joker stares moment. It was dead ever since Monty passed on. Uh, Monty passed on. That was that was true with uh, Ruby. Once he died, they just kind of like dragged yeah, the corpse Yeah, a lot of people were mentioning that. They said it went the way of the W word. Yeah. Well, yeah, I said, not surprised. They went woke hard AF. Their, their words, not mine. Uh, Ruby hasn't been the same since going downhill fast since the death of Monty. Uh, Rooster Teeth used to be really good. Well, yeah, like I said, uh, Bernie came back. He did a podcast and he did very, very well. Like people will watch Bernie and they'll probably watch Jeff and you know, some of the other people, but uh, it's just, it's not Rooster Teeth. Ruby got woke and gay and <laughs> now broke since the ESG money is gone. Oof. Well, I like somebody tagged us in. Lightbringer. Clownfish Neon. Clownfish was right. Guess Justice League Ruby didn't do very well. Uh, what's going to happen with their shows? You're going to shop them around, but I don't I don't know if anybody's going to take them. And they might, actually. But I don't know. <laughs> if, you're, if you're interested in buying those shows, may, let, let me recommend one thing to you. If you're a network and listening to this, you might want to look into the fan bases on some of these things and the shit you will get. Oh, my God. Along I, with it. Just just putting that out there. Th that's the thing. Like, be like, okay, well, we've got Ruby, which has a built-in fan base, but do we want that fan base? Or will we be better off spending the money that we would have spent making Ruby to make something completely different? You know? That'll have new craze fans. <laughs> so yeah. So, be on your side. Yeah. So, I don't know if Ruby's going to get an ending then, because I think, I think like, season 10 was kind of up in the air, and I, I don't think they're going to end it, unless somebody else wants to come in and end it. We got the crab rave here. Um, wait, what? You're serious? This hurts a lot. I really hate Dave right now. Warner Brothers, you just ruined our childhood. Yeah, 21 oh, years, though. 21 years online. That is a, that is a long know, but time. If you want to get mad about you know some someplace ruining your childhood, just take a number. Because it's been going on for a lot of people for a while. Yeah. Warner Brothers are great at burning money. Um, they actually, I think they left Rooster Teeth go longer than they should have. I think Rooster Teeth probably should have been shut down two or three years ago because it was very clear, but I think that they were trying to buy time. They're like, um, humna, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna do podcasts. Oh, oh, guys, guess what? We'll just, uh, 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 we'll pay all our content. Give me another six months. We'll pay all our content and see if people will pay. That's how we started, you know, back in the 2000s. That's how we started. We'll just go back and we'll just roll it back like it's 2008 and it, things will be fine, guys. They'll be fine, no. Good. Uh, Matt says, good. They went corrupt a long time ago. They doubled down poor diversity, higher costs uh, for years, Host. Alien, or hosts for years, alienating their core audience. Now, as revenue continues to fall, they've, end, uh, they've ended up at the end of the corporate chopping block. I, again, the only reason I think they've been allowed to survive this long with all the scandals and all the other stuff getting shut down is they didn't bring enough to the table and David Zaslav had a lot bigger fish to worry about. He had like way bigger things he had to deal with DC and and all of that. And now it's like, yeah, we need every damn penny we can get. And uh, you guys are costing us too much money. I'm honestly surprised it made it this long. I thought I'd been gone before now. Yep. So there it is, guys. It's it's official. Rooster Teeth is dead. Uh, they're dead. They've been dead for years. And uh, Clownfish was right. So suck a peach, as my daughter likes to say. Mm -hmm. Suck a peach. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.